Hello, everybody. So, like I told y'all, I um, I was gonna record or watch it again tonight. This is, and I've learned. I, I've learned. Let me pause this for one second. Um, pause. Oh, the Brandenburg Gate. Anyway, so um, I've learned a couple of things about this episode of um, of uh, Sense Eight. So it's it's not actually the season. The season actually starts in May. Come to find out. Thank you for all you wonderful bloggers and posters there about Sense8 on YouTube. I watched some of your videos today and learned a couple of things. So thank you very much about that. Um, the season isn't. The season actually comes out in May, which to me is like, oh my God, hurry up and get here already, because <laughs> I want this show to be back on the air already. I want to be able to watch the show. It's so good. It's so good. So. Anyway, like I said, um, uh, so I, I, I'm looking forward to watching it a second time. And like I told y'all, I've got my glass of champagne. <laughs> I have my glass of champagne and I have a little, a little piece of, um, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's a little piece of uh, 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 nut bread from, uh, oh, what's the place called? Bob Evans, yes, Bob Evans. It's um, it's wonderful bread, really good bread. So here's a little sip of champagne that I'm gonna take. It's been sitting out for a while, like for the last 10, 20 minutes. So the bubbles, the fizz is not there like it was before. I see bubbles, a little bubbly there, but not as much. Anyway. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to watching this a second time. This is such an emotional episode. It really was. After watching it last night, mm. Mm. Corbel Sweet Rosé Champagne. Really good. Yes, Corbel Sweet, Sweet Rosé. Um, <clears throat> so, it was a really good episode. I'm looking forward to watching it a second time right now looking forward to it because there was so much to learn and I know two hours and five four minutes or whatever trying to watch it last night I was sleepy a little bit I'm not gonna lie to y'all I was tired but I stayed awake right through last night's viewing I watched it right through from start to finish I was emotional there were some crying moments there were actually quite a few crying moments um, but there were certain things that I was remembering today that I was like, okay, I need to rewatch this to see if this is what I actually saw. That scene, that veranda scene where um, Kala's husband is discovering or talking about the islands out in the, out in the water, out in the ocean out there. And um, he's talking about they don't need anybody and you know, all this stuff. I was like, wait, did I just, I need to rewatch that scene. I also need to rewatch the scene where, um, I, now again, I can't remember the girl's name, but the one who is the smart computer geek, computer whiz girl, and her lesbian lover, lesbian girlfriend, her girlfriend, I shouldn't say lesbian girlfriend, that's such a freaking double entendre, Jason. It's the champagne. I'm blaming the freaking champagne. Um, so she's with her girlfriend, and when they get to that guy's house, was it really that nasty and dirty in the one bedroom that they had to choose the other bedroom? I, I was like, but if the one bedroom was na nasty or dirty, what's to say the other small bedroom wasn't the same way? I, anyway, certain things are like sticking out to me. And, and of course, um, watching him in the classroom put down his student and making the other students aware that just because you see a picture of two men uh, does not mean that it's not art. It's, it can be art. It can be considered artful and tasteful. You have to have an open mind and not be stuck in, oh, they're having gay sex. No, 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 you dumbass. It's not about that. It's about the passion. It's about the love. It's about the feeling in that moment. It's about the respect of each other during that moment, that feeling. Anyway, I want to rewatch that scene again because I thought that was such a very good scene of how he put those that particular student down. 
And then what other scene? There were a couple of... Oh, the whole needle thing. I want to rewatch this scene with poor Will. Will has to now take drugs to keep the Whisperer out of his brain. Because the Whisperer is going gonna, is gonna to get to the cluster. And if you guys haven't watched any of season one of Sense8, so this might sound kind of weird to you. I'm going to give you a little bit of an insight, okay? If you haven't watched Sense8 at all, the key thing to know about Sense8 is the number 8 is a big deal. August 8th, 8 a.m., the 8th hour, August 8th, 8 a.m., and there are 8 of them. It's 8 people, all born on August 8th at 8 a.m., and they all have that sense, that eighth sense of connectivity, telepath telepathy, um, ESP, you know, all that stuff. And they can feel what you feel. They, they can feel the, or sense what the other person is sensing and know what the other person is doing. You know, they, could, they can. So it's all about the senses and being able to understand and feel what that other person is doing. And it's interesting because in season one, we saw connections. We saw certain connections. Excuse me. Oh, blame the alcohol. Blame, blame that uh, champagne over there. Sorry for the burp. Um, but we see certain people that have connectivity. What am I at? Six minutes and 45 seconds? Oh my goodness. It's almost seven minutes. I got to stop this. Okay. So enough of the rambling. I'm going to go watch the show. And you guys, take care. Bye.